Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Trick from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Robar. This is uh, Transformers Alternators, Robots in Disguise. This was made back in 2005. It's a 2004 Jeep Wrangler and you can actually see the details. There's a lot of details. Alternator line was known for its great detail on its vehicles. As you can see they roll rather well and I love that it has great suspension I just love the suspension on this. Each uh, each tire does that. And as I mentioned before, you can tell the detail on the tire where it says Cybertronian Radial. Uh, if you can tell the details, it says Jeep Wrangler Sport. Uh, even details inside where like the stick shift is on there. You can see it's plastic, uh, hard, or yeah, it's soft rubber. Uh, see the shifts on the, what do you call that? Steering column, steering wheel. Uh, four seats actually and I left one of them off so there we go no big deal we need that for transformation I'll show you that later uh, you can see it has mirrors that actually do reflect it's kind of neat uh, the weird looking lights uh, I don't know if that's quality control but the plastic on the lights is kind of weird you can see the amber and the red uh, roll bar Colorado see the exhaust over here from the bottom you can tell it's kind of weird you can see the gap here which I'm not a big fan of it's just this gap right down here uh, other than that I don't know if that paint right there is bad just a uh, cup holders you can tell that uh, let's see what other things can you tell it opens up hood opens up you can tell that it's kind the arms make a engine block neat uh, I like the molding on this and it is going to be a windy day so this thing pulls over <laughs> oh well jeep and even though there's an autobot symbol here he's trying to maintain anonymity but it doesn't work too well when you have an autobot symbol in the front uh jeep you got the uh front plate here i love the detail the amber lights good detailing on that as I mentioned, uh, windshield wipers, clear windows. So if I had a little figure that to show you that I could sit in here, it's like a this is 124th scale, so it's a little bit larger. It's Voyager class size. The, I'm not a big fan of the gap, but it's not a deal breaker. Uh, you can tell the waist piece right down here, but I, I just love the suspension. The suspension is that great. It's just great. Not a huge. I mean, you can kind of tell from the bottom the robot extras but not a huge deal breaker no windows on the side oh I forgot to mention that the doors do open up so you can see a lot of detailing in there great detailing uh, has a what do you call that spare tire where actually the what do you call that the spare weapon pops out so let me pop them out right here and the weapon which is puny yeah, just a, the door of course hinges or swivels out instead of out you know swivels up instead of out no big deal I like the fact that it has a little side step so great amount of detail not bad I like it let's give it a 7 out of 10 so even there yeah you, you can do a lot with this thing very good looking piece I even mentioned this little light here on the side there so not bad not bad not bad at all all right transformation is kind of finley I already have the uh, what do you call that I already have the hood open so we're going to pop out the arms and that is finley yeah this is the most difficult well there's a lot of weird things that you can do so pop them out good not bad okay so far so good and just extend them out and same thing with the other one extend them out pop it down all right for now don't worry we'll we'll get to the rest of it here and of course if you want you can pull these down all right the back now that I have this over here what we're going to do is just untab that and then that just disconnects good leave the arms out because we're going to oh and that piece always seems to fall off so I'm just going to leave it off for now and great detailing on the lights and the grill so what other things we got all right so going to put that down 
put the little foot rest down and we'll just leave it, leave it there for now. And these little tabs right here, we're going to move down. And I, like I mentioned before, I got smart and actually pinned the corners down. <laughs> windy day, windy day. All right, so let's go ahead and transform this. We're going to might as well move this out of the way. I already got the weapon from the Jeep spare tire. So we're good. Okay, now, if you want, just roll the tires, the front tires down. And the one thing I don't like is there's this huge gap and there's not much there that you're going to see and I just want to show you 2004 Hasbro and Takata don't have a box for this my boy Jason sold this to me so thank you Jason okay and these two tabs right here will tab with this right here so you can see that Takata told me 2004 oh it's just Takata back then I think uh, like recently after that it just tabs in like that after like a year after that 2006 is when it became Takata Tomi all right so we're going to move the, nin, the the shins down good all right so it's looking like a robot so far uh, might as well pop up the head while we're at it okay there we go one thing I don't like is that the head it's just a huge gap down there and it just doesn't rest on anything that I'm aware of. No, not to worry. We'll get to that later. Okay. As far as the feet, it's kind of neat. We're going to pull this down, put the seat down for both sides, and that just rotates around. Okay. Might as well, and like I mentioned, the license plate that said roll bar, just move it down or swivel it around, and then just pull this down and about, and that has a nice ankle pivot. So we do it for both sides here. Nope, there we go. There we go. Easy day. And Yep, looking good. I think that's pretty much it. Okay, put the roll bar down. Yep, I already did that. Kind of automatically did that. So that's it. Pretty much for the transformation, we're gonna put the front piece back and good. All right, looking good. While I have them transformed, let's go ahead and give you the art. Oh, I forgot, let's fold this out. Not quite there yet. Pop the roll bar on the top here, and that whole allows a whole section right here to move down. So we're gonna move these pieces down in between the legs, or sorry, the seats. There we go. And that whole section just moves down. Then we can move the front, sorry, let me show you this. The whole section just moves down. Then the front windshields just move down like that. It doesn't peg anywhere, so it kind of is just out there. So you can tell that there's it's hollow down here, and that's what I really don't like about this guy. I mean, he has big feet for balance, so not bad. Let me just move this back just a little tad here. There you go. I don't know if you can tell, but he also comes with this tiny little gun that I mean, it's just freaking tiny. He'll hold it just fine. As far as articulation, ball joint on the shoulder, weird looking shoulder, and I, okay. Single, what do you call that? Uh, joint on the elbow, just a single joint. Swivel on the, whatchamacallit, wrist. Has a grip. So the bottom three move out, and it does have that pistol grip for the index finger, which I really, really dig. I like that swivel joint. So it does have waist articulation, which I really, really dig on that one. Ball joint on the hip. No upper thigh swivel. And this weird joint for the knee. It kind of double jointed, but it, it, it's just part of the, uh, what do you call that, for the transformation. A ratchet joint on the dang it ankle man I'm brain farting today hard that's okay <laughs> and Autobot logo so good looking figure I just wish it I mean it stands just right 
And I'll just show you this little pistol, tiny little pistol. There we go. I mean, he stands just fine. As far as uh, size comparison, there he is with Megatron. And Voyager size right here. Not bad, I just wish he fixed the issues with the robot mode, but not bad. Six out of ten for the robot mode. Alright, YouTubers, that's all I got, and I'll catch you all next time.